sort of like extreme rage therapy. He thought that if he could get his patients to vent their anger, then they'd be cured of it. Yo, people back in the day were fucking stupid as shit. So I'm thinking, what if it's... Ooh, what if, if I do this? Then, like, well, that doesn't even logically make sense. I know it's made up for the story, but, like, they're dead ass back in the day. Used to be doctors that would believe shit like that. Like lobotomy. Let's take a portion out of their brain. Look, he's not making a fuss now. Yeah, because the nigga's basically dead. Hey, before this video begins, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button within the first 10 seconds of this video. Helps me out a great deal. Also, be sure to go ahead and subscribe for some more reaction content. Also, be sure to head over down to Patreon. For only $5, you get access to multiple episodes in advance. Also, with multiple episodes a week. I'm talking about three to four episodes of your favorite TV show a week. So be sure to go ahead and check it out. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Supernatural. In the last episode, we had a banger of an episode. It's called Home. Uh, it was mostly about uh, Sam and Dean reconnecting with the childhood home. And they got to see their ghost mother, ghost mom, ghost dad. Get the fuck out of here. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, come in here, ghost mom. Uh, she saved the day. She was like, get the, get the, leave my son alone. And then she banished him to the shadow realm, apparently. Anyway, with that being said, if you guys want to watch a week ahead of schedule, be sure to go over to Patreon. Not only you get a week ahead of schedule, but you also get a uh, full length, uh, as well as that. Uh, so go ahead and, uh, check out the Patreon for only $5. You could get episode to ep you could get access to episode 11 or 12, uh, depending. Sometimes I do double drops. Uh, if you guys are being dope, uh, over on Patreon for only $5, I think it's a steal. Let me know. Uh, Discord. Uh, come join the Discord if you want to talk about Supernatural or any other stuff, such as Doctor Who, Vampire Diaries, Lost. We got a plethora of stuff going on over there on that channel as well. And also, uh, Patreon, we do have anime stuff over there as well that isn't uploaded onto YouTube. Uh, it's streamed over on Twitch, but isn't uploaded on YouTube because I just don't feel like dealing with it, uh, with the copyright stuff. So, if you want to watch uh, full-length versions of stuff like One Piece, Ranking of Kings, uh, and other uh, anime that I'm doing currently right now, uh, check the Patreon for only $5. But, with all that being said, we're about to just jump right into episode 10 called Asylum. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's, let's get it. I would never break into an abandoned place just on the general the fact that there could be people there waiting to stab you, not just ghost. Like, like, motherfuckers forget, like, all about just regular people that could just be in there with, with the knives or guns there. Hello? Hello? Any ghost in here? Any ghosty ghost? It'd be a shame if a ghost come in here and then kill us. Hope the black guy survives at least. I just like it. I just like a good stereotype break where it's just like, hey, the black guy survives this time. And I know his ass would not be going that deep into that asylum. Come on out. Oh, okay. He found actually the kids. So hopefully, not hopefully, but I'm saying like everybody else makes it out. This guy is the like the kill to start the show. No need to kill the kids. Yo, kids are whipping it in that. Yo. Walt, I said I was sorry about before. How many times do I have to say? <sighs> what did she do? Does it matter what she did? Did he just take the change out? He's being weird. Is he being possessed? No, not the murder suicide. I'm, I'm going to need this episode to hit. Because after the bugs episode, I'm like, some of these episodes can go. Comes to you from your caller ID. Uh, it said unknown. Okay, well, where are the coordinates point? That's the interesting part. Rockford, Illinois. It's kind of okay, weird. Like the actor that they got to play their father. He's like only like ten years older than Dean. At most, probably. It strikes me as very weird. The coordinates. Sam, Dad's telling us to go somewhere. We're going. He's trying to stay away from you, you freak that can see the future. He's like, ew, Sam has 
weird future cooties. I don't know. This is just a theory hypothesis. Cause he was there at the like. Am I wrong? He was like there at the psychic place. Okay. It's the asylum that made him crazy. Yo, hopping fins like a pro. Roosevelt Asylum. Again, like this, like being Sam and Dean, being professionals, you would just automatically assume this place is haunted as shit. So let's just go in. Well, I guess they're the professionals. I keep, I keep having that mindset of like, why are you going further? But oh, that's literally their job. It's like me telling the Ghostbusters not to go into that <laughs> abandoned building. It's just like, no, they they need to be in there. Where? Why were they given this much like free roam? patients and shut down the hospital for good all right so to sum it up we got a bunch of violent deaths and a bunch of unrecovered bodies mm -hmm. a bunch of angry spirits just burn the place down just burn it down but what if that lets the ghost free to roam the world my head hurts who the fuck are these Why? If you ever do this with a girl, make sure you're the toughest, most non-scared person ever. Because this plan could fail if you look like a total bitch during the situation. Come on. And also, just don't do it. This is boring and weird. <laughs> Let's go to a haunted house. <laughs> Let's just break into this uh, asylum. Come on. So If your main goal was trying to get into her pants and she's literally saying, no, I don't want to go in there. Like, and he is more interested in doing this. I think he just wants to go to, I think he just wanted to go to the asylum. He just wanted to look around. Like, I don't think he wanted to go on a date. He's just like, yo, you can wait here. Be gone. Thought. How come like, there's like no ghosts are just like chill. Just like vibing, you know? Just like, I'm not ready to pass on. I just want to sit here and vibe. What happens to ghosts after you burn them? Do they go to heaven or hell? Or is it still reliant on like what they did? Sir, calm down. Oh. She's just walking very slowly to you, Dean. Ugly woman approaching me. <laughs> Appropriate response. Shoot, uh, shoot off a buckshot in her face. I respect it. Oh, whoa. Dang, that was fast. See, this is why you don't do anything. You don't. You should have beelined her ass to the exit. She is civilian. She's not for this. And now you're going to be worried about her instead of actually doing your job. <laughs> Yo, you look like a real bitch right now. Man up. Where are you? I'm in the Hurry up. I'm on my way. All right. Can you a little weirdly like staticky. What? No. I can. That thing will send her flying back. Well, she says she has practice with it before. The boiler room. Wait, was he in the boiler room? He was in like an office. Man, ghosts can make phone calls now. That's that seems OP. What was that one uh, movie with the with the one missed call or something? I should watch that. Yeah, this is like I wouldn't go with like you're a pro ghost hunter. You know they're baiting you. You know that's what they do. And you're like, oh, maybe I should go check this out. Because I got this staticky phone call from Dean that's clearly from Dean. Come on, get good, Sam. And also learn how to use your future powers better. Your psychic powers. She's going to be behind you. Just start shooting. Turn behind you and shoot. 180 shoot. Don't lower your... Don't be afraid. I'm going to make you all better. 
Oh, he's like electroshocking to make he so he electroshocked him to make him crazy. Sort of like extreme rage therapy. He thought that if he could get his patients to vent their anger, then they'd be cured of it. Yo, people back in the day were fucking stupid as shit. So I'm thinking, what if Ooh, what if I do this? Then like, well, that doesn't even logically make sense. I know it's made up for the story, but like, they're dead ass back in the day. Used to be doctors that would believe shit like that, like lobotomy. Let's take a portion out of their brain. Look, he's not making a fuss now. Yeah, because the nigga's basically dead. I mean, he's bleeding from the mouth, uh, the, from the nose. I'd be like, yeah. Damn. No, but it'll hurt like hell. I don't know. A buckshot full of rock salt sounds like that will fucking destroy you. Oh God. 40 years of just me fest festering there. Burn his ass. <laughs> like, what type of salt is that? Got some Tony Satchers. <laughs> like, this should, like, permanently fuck up his brain. Like, if, th like, this shouldn't, like. Really in the sharing and caring kind of mood. Just want to get some sleep. Get, after taking a fucking shot to the chest, I'm gonna sleep forever. Dad, ooh, that was such a shot. That was like that was, that was not natural at all. Just like oh, call, phone call, and then dad. <laughs> like that's such a shot that like. It's so unnatural because like people just don't do that. That's just like such a thing that you do when you're filming. Uh, yeah. Episode ten of a Supernatural Asylum. Uh, we are working through some of these episodes. Um, it was another freak of the week episode. Interesting. I kind of wish it was a little bit more lore to it. But uh, yeah, Doctor was fucking with his patients. Patients were like, "Yo, we about to body you," so they killed them. Stuffed him in the wall, and now he's continu continuously doing that beyond the grave. So, uh, yeah, we just got a little bit more like context to how Sam feels about Dean. Uh, is it mostly uh, repressed stuff? Yes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see more of Supernatural later on down the line. Uh, just interested to see the relationship grow. But with that being said... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to be a week or two ahead over on Patreon, or sometimes even three, depending, uh, head over and down to Patreon. Uh, $5 gets you not only full length version of this, but also early access to not only Supernatural, Lost, Vampire Diaries, Once Upon a Time, etc. So with all that being said, thank you guys for watching and see you all next time. Peace.